Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from kbandstraining.com. Today our focus is going to be utilizing the reactive stretch cord and working on our footwork to second base. Remember, to be an effective base dealer, it's important that we accelerate at max speed. For the first portion of this drill, we're just going to get our footwork together and we're going to work with several sprint outs. Grab your adjustable belt, place it around your waist, and pull that D-ring off to the side so that we get the right amount of resistance at the correct angle when stealing second. Take your lead off, get set up, start a nice balanced position, and then the anchors are going to have to work to get the correct timing on the poles. As you settle into your lead off, the anchor is then going to take off, extending the reactive stretch cord and helping give you the assistance you need for the sprint. Remember, the reactive stretch cord only stretches 20 feet. So this is a great distance for us to utilize some overspeed training techniques and then release the anchor strap as the athlete runs by. The next portion of this drill is going to simulate a dive back to first base and an overthrow. We're gonna lay down flat on our chest and pull that D-ring off to the side so that again, when we open up that hip, we can just accelerate and not worry about getting tangled up. As you get up, it's important that you really utilize your arms and drive through letting the resistance help you. It's important that we never lay back and let the assistance kind of drag us. We have to be very explosive and attack the sprint all the way to second base. Complete six to eight repetitions of both the lead off sprints and the dive back sprints for a great workout with the reactive stretch cord. For your very own reactive stretch cord, head to kbandstraining.com. The reactive stretch cord comes with a great program called the Overspeed Accelerator. This is gonna be great for helping build speed for you on the field.